Welcome back. Oh, we've got Boom Esports and Heroic. Again, Boom Esports beat Lewis Magic, Magic Cards and Heroic beat Mad Kings. Both fantastic series. And now we get to get, get to see the game, uh, the best of three, for the both of them here. Corrosive skin just on the illusory orb. So they are coming bottom here. KJ not getting close enough to get the kill, but he does get the rune. They're gonna try to go on analog here, actually. They have a creep to help out. They're bringing everybody around. Knight will get the kill, gonna roll in on KJ. They're trying to kill the creep of the enchanted, but the creep, it's actually getting some good hits. They'll kill the eventual spirit, and now, do they get to turn around on skill field? I don't think so. He has the salve. Now, level five is like questionable. Can you lane here? Once he hits level six, it's over. But the Dubai Llama is really willing to put him in the grave now because running over to trees, this could be it. Rip through, and Dubai Llama gets the kill. Oh no. It's level six on Boom. Not level six on K1 yet, but it doesn't matter. They're gonna try to run and find him. They've got Pakaz here as well. Only level five on him. They see him, one rock, two rock, big hit with the soul assumption, and it looks like they will get the kill. Sleeping through with the ice shards there. I think he's thinking about it. Whether or not he really needs to. He doesn't put it into anything just yet here. Pops the regen rune. Again, not canceled off just yet. He's still getting the regen. He'll pop the ulti. He gets it off, but he does die. Divine Llama's the one to clean up here. He'll get two. Does he get four? This is setting up pretty nicely for him here. He's gonna run to the high ground on Panda. He'll get one kill on KJ, but with this Chakram, I think Divine Llama can still walk out with all of them, but he'll get double rock, it looks like. They'll just have to turn on Panda instead. Oh no, he didn't get it. Oh, Panda. Quick beat, sold up here. Almost in with the Timber Chain Panda. He won't be able to survive. Divine Llama missed the no look, but he comes back, follows through, and gets the kill anyways. Do you guys miss the old royal jelly? Do you like it whenever it's like a consumed for permanent? Oh boy. Fuck. He's gonna get hit a few times, has the ulti on him. He can't get away. They lose Panda as well, but Analog will fall after getting a kill in the mid laner. I don't know if he loves that trait, but I mean, it's a little bit even for them right now. Plus, they're gonna get on top of Illich, possibly. He's on this weird low ground. He'll jump up onto the high ground again. Can he get the Chakram? He does! Divine Llama from downtown! Able to get that kill with the Chakram. Even gets a few creep kills with it. Especially if it's on Picaz. I mean, those illusions will just stutter with all the pure damage they have from the Timber Sauce. So we'll see. Jumping through, Hookshot misses. They know that they're on the way. Stun up, they find the real Naga Sire, Pekaz, trying to get away, they're gonna swap out, trying to get the ulti off of Pekaz, he can't even get it! He takes all that damage in an instance, and now, Knight, he's in trouble as well! They'll kill his courier, they'll kill him! Well done, Divine Llama is running this game with the Timber Saw. Sonic's in danger, dude, he actually has to just TP away. Ooh, and the damage! Did they even need the club? Clockwork? Some of those illusions will start flying down these lanes and make it harder for Heroic to push in. Stun up! Hookshot onto two of them! No, it's a chrono, but Heroic, you know! He one can't get into it! He has to focus down this message! That's not where you want to be! You wanted to hit the puck! The said puck may actually get away from this one! No, they do get the kill Knight as well! So although the chrono may be a bit scuffed to start, they will end it well. Get two kills. Right now, I mean, this Viper is kind of running the map with Divine Llama. They're both just, like, super powerful. And Pekaz, oh no, is he able to get the ulti off? No, the hook shot! They're gonna kill him! He gets a nice Manta, but no, no, no. Whirling Death is too much. Now they find Panda. No, there's not a lot of mana on Divine Llama. He's got a two-stick charge. And he can't even get the blink off because this bird is chasing him. They do get broken, but not enough damage. You gotta get back into this one. You can't play this game having a fuck with a decent net worth. Hookshot once again. Can they lock him down before he gets the ulti off? Yes, they can. K1 is around. Has the Kronos here, but again, not a ton of damage on his own. Hello? You're in a pretty good spot. Otherwise, it's always easy comeback. You just gotta find the right fight. This one is much harder now. They use the coil, but he gets hookshotted right on through, bouncing it back even into the chakram. See what's gonna happen. They've got mana boots all around. Oh, and a jump through, just stopping anybody from getting on top of analog. They'll rip right through Panda. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, they're gonna take the both of them. Creep wave still coming. They didn't actually clear the whole thing. The team is up now, but Divine Llama is making sure that nobody gets even close. They're gonna hit him with a few impeti. But oh no, silence. No dispo right now. But I don't think they have damage either. Uh oh. Drops through, hook shot, just tears right through Panda. They've got the break on the fight visage as if they even need it. They've already pulled through all of his passive charges. And with the coil down, I don't know if they even live. He broke the clockwork just to be funny with it. But with the shield, he actually didn't take much damage at all. 22,000 net worth. At this point, they're probably wondering, where did the Naga Siren go? But they're not worrying where the dust went. They already kill him. Naga Siren, force a TP out. Looks like she feels like somebody might be coming to kill her. Good job splitting the illusions up, though. She's gonna clear both ways. I'm because is getting up to the net worth that he needs to be. I'd say realistically, getting up towards the face's void is good, but unfortunately, the rest of the team is not having a good time. Slot him just goes down once more, just to be sure he doesn't get punched or get back. I suppose. Hey, what's a free kill? What the? Why not? Get the kill on the enchantress. It don't matter. Just kill someone. Right, go up that high ground. Buy back on the Enchantress. Silence up right now. Bottom BKB on K1. He doesn't have an agent. He's kind of playing like it. He feels confident. They're going to rip right through this Enchantress, and I think if she lands, she will fall. Trying to snowball right on in for the save, but not in time. Divine Llama. He is just too large. He'll sit right here. Come on. High five his little hot chocolate cup. Come on. Nobody can do it. I believe that is Megas here, so GG is called, boom, gotta go back to the drawing board. At this point, you just write this one off. There are some mistakes that we made in the drafts, maybe in the big game as well, but you gotta be better for next time. A little bit higher on the coddle, but as expected. Looks like K1 is trying to run away, but they have the ink and a huge blast from Slotum, so they will get the kill. K1 picking it up. Level it up. Choose the levels, because I need your knowledge. Okay, fine. Make me this kills. I will love They use the RP, but he skewers right through a rupture. Hell, it's trying to stand his ground here, but the roll is about to come through and knock him a few different ways. He's trying to stand up under the tower. He'll still go down. And now Sodom just running away from the roll. He doesn't need to stay here for too long. This is not a huge net worth deficit. It's just the same number. But then they do use the link, but immediately kill Knight. And Panda, oh, he gets the regen rune. So now he's getting a little bit of extra regen for himself that he wasn't going to get before. Drops a tomb, potentially because he had that regen rune. A hard place to fight, they're going to drop the sentry on the high ground. So see it. And Analog actually jumps right on out. RP puts them all on the high ground here, but Schofield gets to swap away, and they get the ulti. Oh my, wait, was that a grief? I think that ulti was a little bit of a grief. They couldn't kill Illich now, K1 trying to come over here. He will get the kill, but oh, what a... What a change. They just, I guess you give it to K1, honestly. Let him get involved in these fights, maybe. Oh no, no, they give it to Analog. On the pink leer, but... Rook don't really want to make a move just yet. Looks like. Well, Avatar's up on night. They're not really... I expected more of a wraparound to try to kill a bigger target, but... I guess if all they could find was the group shook, that really opens up their game. He does get onto the high ground. Now, this is a target that I think they want. On Pekaz here, he wants to throw down the ult, and he tried to get it off in time, but he's gonna get rolled on the salt. If they have any way to save him, they don't. Couldn't get close enough with the tombstone. K1 will take another kill in a heroic. Smoke up. I mean, they're gonna break it. Illich's gonna jump forward and just brings the tiny into the base. You don't get to leave today. But on the high ground, they do use the Rupture and they use the Wyvern Curse. I mean, Illich, yeah, he'll stand and think about what he's done, but I don't think he minds too much. He's using the clone out, trying to find the Divine Llama. Instead, they'll find a KJ after the Swamp Plus Stun. He's trying to get away from this one. Do they have the damage? They do, just barely getting it, but they won't tag up on anybody else. But Heroic, they've got to find a way to really break open this game. Uh, I thought the fight bottom was going to do well for them, but they weren't able to keep up the aggression. They do swamp out Illish. He's able to get through. It turns out Stunt does not actually stop that, but they've used the Wyvern Curse. They've used the Blood Rite. And there's the Rupture, too. They really want him here, but he gets put in the Tombstone. You can't get into him. And because feeling free to cast whatever he wants, what more do you have to work on him? So because he turns around, he doesn't have the Daedalus just yet, so his damage feels slightly limited. And they'll have to back out here. Destroying this game. 
Down a bit here, KJ. Maybe force to put his gun out here. They're gonna drop back on KJ, but they're already so silenced. They actually have to save the Magnus they think. K1 is gonna turn on the Panda. He already got the tombstone out, but he's gonna get an RP. Can they get the kill here? They need to come up with the Wyvern Curse. They're not close enough. They already killed two, and they're trying to chase after K1. He's gonna get slowed up. No, he's just able to get away. A lot of the zombies are chasing him down, but it looks like they will just turn on the Wyvern instead. Divai Llama tipped because he wasn't able to get out that Wyvern Curse. And this should be another Aegis possibly getting taken down. Beautiful fight. I mean, literally putting his body on the line there on the Magnus. RP and they take another one. Or they are going to try to get Divine Llama. Oh, Divine Llama. He's turning. He's got the Mage Slayer plus the Arctic Burn. He's taking big damage on Illich. He's trying to run away. They'll finally save him. But they're going to try to work down this Tombstone. K1 has to back away from the Solar Flare. And it looks like Scope Field. Oh man, they're trying to turn on K1. He's got to BKB and get out of here. You need to cut these fights through. He needs to get the Kill Panda right now. Can he get the heal? He will. And now he's going to turn on. Maybe there's somebody else here. He sounds up and he's linked into the Vengeful Spirit. But can they turn on Bacaz now? He's getting beaten up. They can't get in with the RP. Do they have the damage? No, Bacaz is able to turn back around. Can they kill K1? Four staff into the blood right here, but he already has the flat cannons. They're moving. They're zooming. K1, he's trying to get away. There's too many low health heroes. Use the Manta now. Was it too early? I think he needed to dodge it. No, he gets the right click at the very last second, and he's out of here. But the rest of the team, maybe they'll find somebody else. Avatar sending back Slado with the RP onto the Tiny. Getting one, and whoa, with the jump back. On the shockwave, gets another Divine Llama. The rocket is attached, but can they actually catch up to him? I think not. He'll probably get away from this one. At the end of the day, still a favorite fight for Boom. Don't pump fake on me. Scare me. No ages on Picasso. Gonna swap him back. Maybe to converse him down. He's ruptured up, trying to run away from this one. He's got the Satanic though, and he's just firing. They use the RP. He's healed up on the Bloodseeker. Because he actually gets a kill. And now he's turning around. He's gonna get healed up, actually, while this curse is going down. And then the Tombstone save. They can't touch it because keep it going. They give him the medallion. He's running right up the high ground. They kill two. A failed assassination attempt on Picaz, and we'll take one more. That's the spirit. God, ah, Billy. Your life for the gyrocopter. You make sure this man is taken care of, and he will win the game for you. This will be the second Rax that they take right now on Boom. Rax down. I think it lasts like. Is it like 50 seconds? It's quite the Looks like they did get the Wyvern Curse. It's on the gyro. Er, on the uh, Grimstroke. They could take him down first, but they don't have enough damage. He able to turn around. He gets the link onto the Pangolier, but K1 is gonna slice and dice. Trying to get onto the slot again. They kill off this Coddle in time. It looks like they can actually try to dive through. He's not dead, but he finally gets the kill on K1! Oh my lord, that is not the trade that you wanted, I think. Analog goes down too, but Kaz is owning once again on the gyrocopter. But this is exactly where you want it to be, you know? I said that for this gyrocopter to play the game, you definitely have to be ahead. So that these all-in spells don't really hurt you as much. They get the last racks that is going to be Mega Creep. Now they do want to try to, I guess, swap him back, but yo, Illich is on top of it. They will swap out Divine Llama real quick. They do have the Lotus Orb, and oh no! Oh no, Divine Llama, he just cursed himself! And now he's turning onto the Bloodseeker K1, he can't escape! They're gonna buy back on the Bloodseeker, and they'll try to roll through on Pangolier, but it's much too late. Rupture out of the cause, but uh, he's hitting towers, heroes, and never heard of them. They'll toss him up to the sky, but I mean, They'll eventually walk all the way back, take the Ancients, and it's gonna be game number two taken by Boom Esports. Dominant victory here. I love what they've done with this game. Being aggressive on the map first, a huge lane victory, and maybe even had to consider what am I doing about this undying thing. Yo, Boom Esports came back, and in a big way, I love seeing them. I mean, it is a bit easier to kind of all in the basis point, but at the end of the day, like, what are you all in even? Right, you have one item on there. And a kill! Enigma on your team? You might have some item to kind of like very I'm a little surprised by it, but I'm very interested to see how this works out. I'm sure that Bacaz has like thought this one up. Unfortunately, Panda did lose his Harpy, which is going to be pretty good. Dark through.
Very low HP here on Sodom. Will run right through KJ and even Knight surviving. And Sodom is going to get himself a water rune. So. I mean, just going for the battle for yourself. I wonder if this is akin to why people would do the treads on Juggernaut. Because it's kind of the same thing, right? Like, Juggernaut has some advantage by building the phase boots, but he would go for this treads because of how much he's right clicking with the battle period. But, oh no, Skullfield does he go down here? He's gonna get ran through. They get the kill. On the other side, there was a kill on the phases void. But topside, yeah, it looks like a black hole. They get the kill, but it looks like Illich may get turned around on a rip through from Divine Llama, and he gets himself an easy kill. And now they're looking back at Knight, the chakra, but it is some good work. He needs one more timber chain, and he got it. Focus. Invokers can do it. Why can't I? Ward down. They do see Bacaz farming up in a bit of a dangerous area, but it looks like Candy's gonna be able to go down first. They've also tried to link, link in, and they did get the kill on the Ursa. He knew he was being seen, but they didn't care. So I think they clear out the ancient camp, and they get the kill on the Ursa. A bit disastrous right now for Boom. I mean, how many times do you think you've like gone up to a camp right before it respawns? Jump through. Sonic's in danger. A lot of nuke damage. I, they didn't. Did they have to use the finger? No, they didn't even use the finger. But now they're gonna go bottom. Chronos here used on the Ursa here. Can Pekaz get away? He pops the ulti, so with the nice dispel as well. That's getting the status of this. But oh my lord, Divine Lava. She's got a lot of damage and they'll input it all to Pekaz. And now they're chasing down Knight. A rip right onto the other end of the bridge. You shall not pass. K1 going to get the kill. Now they can turn over to Panda. Does it ever end? Four go down. It's an insane fight for Heroic, and they're breaking this game wide open. Looks like they are jumping through. Sending the cause into the air, but they also have the double. Can they get the pulverized? Bomb, bomb, bomb. Can they get the kills on both? They can, and in fact, they may give them both. Nope, neither of them go to the gods. Unfortunate. <laughs> I thought they were going to get both. Oh, you know he wanted them so badly. I can see down. K1 coming in. I found the bear. They get a nice sunray from the back. They're gonna stun him off, but after he gets the enrage off, and he gets glimmered. So he's gonna get sent into the sky. Already has the buff on him. He'll try to run away, but they will not let him leave. Divine Lava blinking on forward. He's gonna Yule's up Grimstroke into the sky, but it's too late. Illich does have the blink dagger. Can they actually take this fight? It's a nice black hole. It's on a two for the sunray. He's gonna keep everybody healed up. Can they run through and get the kill on the face of Floyd? No, he actually ran too far. Wasn't close enough, and I'll slot him. After coming in to try to save his team, he too will fall. One pulverize, it ain't enough. The okay, well, they'll still get the kill, but what a show off. Scofield literally stunning the trees, making it known I didn't even need that to kill you, okay? Looks like the Ursa here is going to the dagger. Nice. I, I watched him as he died. It only took two seconds, but I got it. They did TP in the Ursa, but they're going to fight under an egg. This is not where you want to be. Sonic's trying to get away from this one. He does have to pulverize up now. But K1, he's ready to turn around with the Chronosphere. If at all, they get too close. But Divine Llama, I don't know if they even need it. He's going to turn around with the pulverize, but the last blast will take him down on Sonic's. Two gone, and I don't think that Boom can continue this fight. In the mid lane here, Divine Llama is just chalking through, and Slotos, he can't even pop the BKB, he's just dead! We can wait just in time up a cause that Solar Bind. Might have got Solar Bind. Solar Bind, keeping him in the ground, and Panda having to run away from this one still pretty fast, but now he's starting to slow down. They got Sofield on the other side, thanks to the Ursa here, but now he's got to run away. He did use BKB for that one. Enigma, nowhere to be found. Actually trying to farm up elsewhere. They're just happy losing this one. Trying to charge in order to like, I guess, bait them. I think the charge was coming through and make them back. They won't take the bait. They get themselves a Rax. Everybody will back out here. Green uh, because, oh, doesn't give himself a shard, unfortunate. He definitely wanted that. Had to the but that's what you do. Oh, no. Oh, forward, they pop the Lincolns, do they have the damage with the Pulverize, they get him, a three kill streak, and a lot of gold going the way of Pekaz, because after that, uh, who cares, he will kill you once, but, uh, get rid of the axe, he will the axe, he up, 
diving through. They're able to get the Yules onto the Urza here. Stunned up, not in time, but it looks like he has to pop the BKB. Trying to get on top of Skullfield, but they do not have a nullifier. So, yeah, they're going to pop the Eon Disc, and he has to get away from this one. In danger now, K1. They don't have an Aegis anymore. Pekaz trying to get away from this one. Able to Manta off some of those slows, but... Oh, Pekaz, he has to click away! But a Chronosphere, going to turn himself onto the Grimstone first. Now onto the Urza, able to pop the ulti through the Chronosphere. K1, he's actually backing away from this one. He's feeling like he's in a bit of danger here. Schofield sitting and just gets the sucker right under the egg. He'll pull everybody away, but right now for Boom, they've only lost the Grimstroke. Maybe they can get a kill on the Primal Beast as well. The Sunray looks like it'll be enough. And on the other side, they killed Pekaz. It was Davi Lava. Davi Lava, he got it himself. You can see they popped the Lincolns on the face of this boy. Person was able to move everywhere, but not everybody else was able to follow him here. They get the kill on the Enchantress, does have buyback. The Lama is actually subbing himself way forward. Buyback on two. We'll look him at the third. They're watching the racks fall. You know they do not want to play this against Megas. That's almost almost losing the game anyway. Here it is. Buyback on the Earth after a dive through from K1. He's able to get the backtrack off his shard. But Pekaz, he's already in the back line, trying to get the bird. He doesn't get it. Now he's getting hit by K1. They gotta get him out of this one. He's getting slowed up. They're gonna pop the ulti here soon. Gets the dispel, but the Sunray is still on top of him. Somebody protect him! Where's the black hole? Where's the blink BKB? Somebody do something to help Pekaz to get through. It's a black hole! Can he survive through this one? The shopper's gonna miss, but it doesn't matter! They have all the damage. Finally, the pulverize will come in, but it's too little, too late! A dive away from K1. They've already got the dive back of the Ursa. It's GG! They call it on Boom, and it's not over for them. They'll go to the lower bracket, but happiness for Heroic. After winning game one dominantly, they all of a sudden fall in game two, and they take it back. A huge victory for themselves.